how's it going guys ed clark back from roulette calculators and i'm just doing a follow-up video on the exciting auto tracking upgrade that we're, we're due to roll out over the next couple of days now i have been tracking a huge selection of auto tables just as curiosity basically um i don't know if anyone is familiar with the family called the garcia family and what they did in Vegas, they took a, a casino down for millions by tracking. Um, it was tens of thousands of spins. And they noticed that um, a few of the numbers were hitting more often than others, which was known as a table bias. Now, these days, trying to find a bias on a table is highly unlikely because all of the casinos will be measuring their uh, tables um, con consistently to make sure that there is no error uh, and what causes a bias is if the table isn't quite level and also if the riffles have been worn slightly so they kind of roll on and stop on a sharp edge if that makes sense so i'm going to be looking at that uh in this session and i'll explain a little bit more about that in a moment but um I, at first if you are if you are new to roulette calculators we'd really appreciate it if you smash that subscribe button and the bell notification icon and set yourself up a free account on roulettecalculators.com. That way you can chat to other roulette players, discuss strategies and betting systems, and learn about different casinos and dealers, which will, I'm pretty sure, take your roulette game to the next level. Now, the social network is completely free to join. There are paid membership options available for the use of its betting tools and calculators. Now, if you would like a free trial, feel free to head over to uh, facebook.com forward slash roulette calculators and drop me an instant message. From there, I'll tell you how you can get a free trial. Now, I'm gonna share my screen here and just show you what I've been doing. So as you can see here, I've got the positive negative calculator and I've got a whole bunch of tables that I have been tracking. I've left it run overnight, so uh, 14 hours um, of tracking. Now, a lot of the auto tables um, don't have a dealer change okay now the ones that do have a dealer change it will automatically refresh the the table uh, that's the way we've written the tools so um if you're tracking a live dealer it will automatically refresh now tables like lightning roulette and places like that that are auto tables they typically have a dealer change and it will refresh but things where it just says auto will not refresh so let's have a look down here and we can see we've recorded uh, 1341 spins now what it does it looks at the numbers uh basically one to zero or one to 36 and zero to 36 and it will show you the percentage of how often those numbers have come out now we would expect them to be very very um similar and as you can see here, there's a few that's bit hit like 3% and uh, some are 2% and 1% and so on. Uh, what I'm going to do, as you can see, I've tracked quite a few of them. There's lightning. So you can see the dealer name there. That will change every time. Uh, so they, that dealer has been on 24 minutes. I have fixed the, um, the issue now where it will reset um, unless the dealer changes during the uh, page reload. Okay. So... Uh, just keep an eye on that if you if you look at the the time there and it says one or two minutes and you can see there's a lot of data uh, you might just need to click on the url there and then refresh if that makes sense okay so i'm going to go through uh this is bucharest uh, uh yeah i think this one's bucharesti uh bucharest <laughs> auto roulette uh let's try the speed speed auto roulette okay because i always try and find a table that's got uh, a lot of people on there that way you kind of stay under the radar as well. And this one's got 344 people online. I've been tracking this one for 14 hours. Now, what I'm going to do is go down here and copy this data like this. And I'm going to paste that in an Excel document. OK, now what I'm going to do is organize the percentage based by largest to smallest. So I'm going to sort largest to smallest and I'll expand the selection. OK, so what that is essentially doing is showing us the hottest number. Downwards, OK, so you see number 20 is uh, by far the coldest number. Now, this is um, this is 100 percent accurate data, whereas I don't trust what the casinos tell you with the hot and cold number. So what I'm going to do here is just write uh, an equals sum of 
Uh, and I'm just going to count 18 numbers. Now we're starting on two, so all I have to do is go down to 19, and that will be 18 results there. So just double check. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, I'll just press return. And then you can see here that the percentage of those 18 numbers is 53.48%. Now, if you're relying on pure randomness, uh, the casino's favor is pretty much that. Uh, the, the player usually has about a 47% um, chance of winning. So this is just a completely random thing that I'm going to try now by actually betting on the top 18 results based on percentage of uh, how many times they've landed, just in case there is some slight bias on the table. So we're going to be covering 18 numbers. I'm just going to leave it doing 10 cents per number, and I'm just going to leave it flat betting continuously just to see if we can actually make an increase. Now, I'm not sure what will happen. It might just uh, crash and burn. There's not really much of a bias. I did have a look at a few other tables, and there was a sort of 55% and so on. Uh, but I'm just doing this on speed roulette just so we can uh, track it and do it a lot faster. And then, of course, I'm going to play the video in high speed just to see exactly what happens over the course of uh, an hour or two of just consistent betting. So what I'm going to do is head over to that table. Uh, this is speed auto roulette. So I'm just going to uh, copy some of that. And I can see the last result was 20, uh, sorry, 17, 22 and 1. Uh, so I'm going to paste that in here. Um, so it's not this one. Not this one. There you go. 17, 22 and 1. So it is this table here. So I'm going to open that up. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to uh, start making the bets on those hot numbers. And then I'm going to add that as a kind of favorite. So it will just automatically play. I'm going to be doing 10 cents per number. Now it's speed roulette. So I'm going to have to work fairly quickly on this. So what I'm going to do is just drag this Excel document here so I can see those numbers fairly easy. OK, so let's just go straight in with this. That's not going to help. Uh, let me shrink this down. I might wait until the next spin because it is speed roulette. Um, so it's not going to give us that much of a chance to make our bets. But there we go. So I'll leave this Excel document like this. And then I'm going to quickly try and bet on all 18 of those numbers. Uh, my balance is 50 pounds. OK, so that's what I'm starting at. Uh, and let's see what we can do with this. So I'll try and enter these in as fast as possible. So we've got uh, number 19, 14, 34, 4, 27, 2, 4, uh, 2 and 27. Uh, then 13, 26. We've got 13, 20. Yeah, OK, so I got up to 13. So the next one's going to be 26. Okay, so let me rebet, and that's going to be 26, 0, 7, 8, 1, 7, 8, 1, uh, 3, 6. Okay, so I'll go up to there. So the next one will be number 6. So let me rebet. Uh, so we're on number 6. 17, 29, uh, 33 and 31. Okay, oh, I just missed 31. And then that should be the 18 numbers. Well, we got the win, so that's good. <laughs> so let's repeat that and put number 31, I believe it was. And I think that would be autoplay. So let's just set that to 100 and click start. OK, so this is essentially what we're doing. We're covering 18 of the most popular numbers. And we're just going to see if we can uh, leave that and end up in any kind of profit. We're betting on the most popular 18 numbers, which only gives you a three and a half percent increase. But it'll just be interesting to see what happens. So what I'm going to do is leave that run over the next 100 spins and see if we can get into profit or if we will just crash and burn. 
So uh, I'll play the video in high speed now and let's see what happens. Okay, welcome back. Um, I'm going to cancel this. 
So we've had a hundred spins. Uh, I think the maximum profit we went to was twenty five pounds. Uh, I believe we've got one uh, one more bet on the table. So let's just see what happens here. I think this is the last one. Okay, thirty five. So that's a loss. Now, there's something that I've really, really noticed there. So we ended up with um, just well about £20 profit from 100 spins, which is a fairly good test. Uh, and that's actually uh, better than I was expecting with just a 3.48% uh, a um, advantage over the table there. Uh, what, I, um, what I have noticed on this for sure was the wins were coming in streaks and so were the losses. If you actually go back and watch it, You'll see it will be like win, 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 lose, 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 win, 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 lose, lose, lose uh, for the majority of them, which was um, really interesting to watch. So I believe a system like Raphael Star point, uh, 2.0 would be perfect. Obviously, I couldn't leave that run on autopilot, but um, I'm going to give that a try on the next session because there, there was never really more than sort of four or five losses in a row. So uh, I think if we did the Raphael's two, uh, Star 2.0, where when you get the win, you double your bet. When you get the loss, you drop down a level. I think that would uh, do quite well and get um, get us to a target fairly quickly. Uh, but yeah, that was really, really interesting concept. So a bag like uh, just under £20 profit, and that was leaving it play um, on auto auto play, which was quite interesting. So... I'd love to hear your thoughts about this uh, particular method. It's uh, just just literally using the Garcia system based on the percentages of how often uh, each individual number has come in. Uh, so obviously we've got a lot of a uh, a lot of data logged here, and um, yeah, it's a fairly interesting strategy. Also, I'd be interested in picking say the top twelve results instead of the top eighteen, and doing the traditional um, step system, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 13, 20, uh, the, the one that we do typically when using the positive negative calculator. So uh, yeah, there's a couple of uh, a couple of things that I'm really interested in trying using this uh, system, but basing it on the actual hot numbers as opposed to the hot numbers that uh, the casino say because i have noticed when um when i've gone to the table um let's see i'm not sure if we can do it on here uh but yeah i've noticed sometimes when you go here the uh the numbers actually aren't accurate and i've noticed that a few times uh because what i've done before i've actually left the the screen recording um so i could just enter in the numbers in blocks uh, that was uh, many years ago, and I noticed that uh, a lot of the numbers that it does display here aren't actually a true representation of what uh, actually happened on the table. So be be careful with that. Uh, obviously, it is quite nice that you can search through 500 spins. Um, I'm not sure uh, with these hot and cold numbers that's uh, showing you over the last 50 rounds. So uh, the best we can look at is 500 rounds. Uh, whereas in this case, we're actually looking over at the moment, the last 2,140 spins. So um, and of course, we can just leave this run um, indefinitely and see what happens when we get to sort of like 10,000 spins, 20,000 spins. Now, my guess is that the majority of these will all be absolutely even. Um, but you might find a bias. You might actually find one or two of the numbers popping up a lot more frequently than the rest of them and uh, with the auto tracking software I absolutely love it obviously i've got so many uh auto tables on the go and i am looking forward to doing a session with the number tracker as well because that's one of the systems that you really do need to have uh at least a thousand spins uh, to actually give you the data to make the bets on Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this session. Let me know what you think about this and also let me know any variations. Uh, if you've got any strategies or ideas that you think would be a good candidate for this particular strategy or this um, this I idea of using the uh, tables data, the, the spin history, uh, it would be good if you leave a 
a sort of strategy, write a strategy on the roulettecalculators.com forum under roulette strategies. And I will be willing to test a bunch of these different things out. I believe the next one I'm going to test out will be the Raphael uh, Star 2.0 using this particular strategy tracking 18 numbers because uh, it, it the wins do seem to go in streaks. So again, another good system for this could be the Paroli system where obviously you uh, increase your, you, you double your bet every time you get a win and you kind of have a set amount. So if you get three wins, then you stop and return back to the the initial bet of 10 cents per number. If you lose, you just start at 10 cents per number and you keep doing that until you get a win. Then you double to 20, you get a win, you double that to 40. If you get a win, then you revert back down to 10. So again, that that's another concept that I would love to try uh, using this. Um, we have had this uh, feature here, the spin statistics for quite a while. But as I as I mentioned, uh, obviously this has only got 15 because uh, it actually has a dealer on Lightning Roulette. But a lot of these ones, like um, the automatic ones, they don't have a dealer change. So it will just collect the table data indefinitely while the page is open. So uh, I am I am excited to fully testing this uh, with multiple different strategies. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for supporting me on this uh, channel as well. Your feedback and the likes really do go a long way. It encourages me to carry on making content uh, instead of just uh, trying these things by myself. And uh, I love to hear your thoughts. That's why I added the social network to roulette calculators, because I personally believe as a group, as a collective, we uh, new ideas will be born that we can test, we can try and we can workshop so that uh, we can uh, get really good systems that can generate a, a, a an income long term. Now, the dealer tracker for me is that I typically only play when I've got the really solid signatures where I'm covering 80, 90 percent minimum of the dealer's previous results. And for that, that's been looking after me over the last um, so eight, eight years. Uh, and that's why I can live in Thailand and do stuff. But as I always mention, I do get losing sessions myself. Um, no, you know, no system is 100 percent guaranteed. I do believe tracking dealers, tracking spin results does give you the advantage. It pushes the uh, advantage into your favor, I believe, if you if you use the tools correctly, that is. So, uh, yeah, love to hear your thoughts on that. Thank you for watching. I'm going to put the end screen on now. Take care.